what's in the box. Let's take a closer look. That stuff is there to cover up some customer's personal information. But, uh, inverter kit. Uh, that sounds like a lot of fun. Made in the United States. Carrier Corporation. What could it be? Let's take a look. I like where this is going. Here it is in all of its glory. I believe I hinted at this in a couple well, a couple months ago and it's taken a couple months of uh, praying that uh, carrier would not ask for this back uh, because of the warranty and the cost of the part um, but by some miracle carrier said to pitch this thing and the second that uh, that word came through, I was waiting to snatch it up. What this is, is a AC to DC inverter, uh, which takes 240 from the house and converts it to 470 DC, I believe. It's either 470 or 600. I'm almost positive it's 470. We're gonna test that. Um, wow. I'm like shaking. I'm so happy. Um, literally, YouTube uh, demonetizing my channel because I don't have a thousand subscribers sucked all of the life out of me wanting to make videos. It really did. Even though I was only making, you know, a couple bucks, you know, a month, I, my, uh, my Google, the money I made was 90 like 98 bucks and they shut down monetization I was like I was like one month away from getting my first check from YouTube a hundred dollar check I was gonna frame it I wasn't even gonna cash it and they shut down my the, the payment for small channels so that's one reason I haven't been around but boy oh boy does this invigorate things um, let's take a peek what's behind the curtain People that run like flybacks and uh, Tesla coils and um, all that crazy, they build their own inverters and they make their, they, they, they have their own heat sinks. Look at that heat sink, baby. Yeah, buddy. This thing will rock your frickin world um, training from carrier uh, tells you that it takes um, 10 minutes for the uh, resistors to dissipate all these capacitors um, before you can even work on these things they say to, put, to kill power and wait 10 minutes before you even touch it I know it doesn't take that long but um, yeah see ya 470, oh, 450 volts at 470, 450, 470, 450, 470, so yeah, that's what it looks like, 470 volts DC. Um, the, this came out of an air conditioner that was less than a week old. It was installed and the guy, the first time he went to run it, it didn't turn on. Um, and it turns out the fault is the communication board. Um, we can hotwire this to run cooling um, with just 24 volts and everything turns on. But the way carriers uh, infinity systems work is it communicates with a plug and it's like uh, minus four volts DC that it uses to communicate between the furnace and the air conditioner and that part of the system died so um, the one thing we might have a problem with is 
all of these plugs connect to sensors um, inside the air conditioner this thing might not like the fact that nothing is plugged into it and it might start giving all kinds of error codes and not want to work um, what we need to do is we got to get 240 volts 120 on each leg into here and then they very very nicely put um, test ports uh, this is where our compressor actually connects to up here um, but we have a DC negative and DC there is D DC positive uh, test terminals so um, we're hoping that uh, we can still jump this out and get this to run or we might have to do a little bit of bodge work to make this thing run um, but man oh man oh man oh man oh man I tell you what this thing costs almost it's like over twenty five hundred dollars from carrier we'll just put it like that um, and all of this part is good just that's bad so I mean I could technically get this board for a few hundred bucks and then sell this to a customer for like three grand I mean that's how stupid uh, th these air conditioners are almost they're, they're like seven eight thousand dollars a piece the DC inverters uh, compressor stuff is like carriers best of the best of the best um, so uh, today's uh, video isn't gonna be too in-depth what we're gonna do is we're basically we're gonna try to power this up we're gonna try to jump it to get it to run and we're gonna check some voltage we're not gonna do anything else no fancy experiments uh, today's goal is to get 470 volts on these terminals and we'll call that a win and then we'll leave it open to suggestions on what we do in the comments all right so let me start figuring out how I'm gonna do this and uh, we'll be back yeah this is getting ridiculous can't even move around in here anymore thankfully uh, we are moving in one month uh, that's right I have found a spectacular place two bedrooms Ma massive massive place uh, and I have an office and that office is going to be dedicated to that kind of stuff and that kind of stuff I have a giant room that's another thing that's bringing that inspiration back but I digress warning do not do what you see me do in this video it is stupid dangerous and will result in death yada yada you know you hear it all the time but direct current is no joke so here's how illegally we have this done I don't have any 240 volt breakers so what we're doing is using two 120 volt breakers and doing it very very naughty so at the box two 30 amp square D's I'm using just a regular plug negative or neutral is one leg of 120 the regular is another leg of 120 and of course earth that goes to the plug that I have had you know in there for a while I have an extension cord plugged into that so we're gonna take 240 one for 120 from each leg over through the cord just some might remember this that made like an appearance in one video then I never did anything with it again that is now has the same kind of deal one neutral on one breaker these go down we're only doing 15 amps now so we're kind of protection mode uh, same thing got the neutrals or I'm sorry the grounds comes out into our outlet our outlet is then gonna take an old microwave plug that's gonna go in there I'm gonna put some tape over these for now I don't want to cut the ends off of this thing because I plan on selling it at some point 
and then uh, all I have to do is I will connect the ground up as well to make it all tidy because it's just temporary for testing today and we're gonna see if lights come on and fingers crossed baby let's do this okay here it is we're gonna do it live together so two breakers on boom let's do some quick voltage tests Shit out of the way. Okay. Over here. Oh shit. It's gonna be tough. Okay. Two forty seven from the breaker on the panel coming in. to do it looking through the camera <laughs> come on lost the vault huh okay the outlet's hot all right wish me luck here guys Lights. We got lights. Oh, I heard a click. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's switch it over. Volts DC. Alright, we're getting an error. But my lights are on. We got lights. High voltage is present, baby. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on, Daddy. Come on, baby. Uh, fudge, I gotta set this down. Uh. Ah. All right, hold on. Let me get set up. That's the beep that we want to hear. 343 volts DC. Oh, buddy, let's have some fun with that, shall we? on my tests for negative and positive it fucking works it works okay uh hold on okay took a minute to breathe so this thing is going to be we're going to build a proper housing for it um once we get into the new pad uh moving december 1st um, so we're going to build a frame for it. We're going to make it really nice and, uh, we're going to have some serious fun, but I need to kind of, uh, research these DC inverters and see what kind of fun we can have with them and make sure everything is safe and connected properly because we only have one of these, <laughs> so we cannot fry it. So, um, stay tuned. Um, the inspiration's back. Wait till you see the new place and how gigantic it is. I got so much room for crap. I mean, like, look at this right now. I'm, I'm just, I'm swamped. I've managed to save a good amount of money living here because it was cheap. And now it's time to move to bigger, better places where we can have much more fun with electricity. Yeah, buddy, I'm pumped. All right, guys, stay tuned and uh, see you in the next video.